You won't find desks or bells in this classroom, but you will find math, science, and the kind of attention teachers only dream of. Steve Overmeyer takes us to the Hudson River, where students are learning in a unique way. Who can tell me how it works when we're sailing downwind? Floating off Pier 25 on the Hudson, students are learning the river can teach as much as the classroom. The but then we're leveraging against the counter force of the water to force ourselves forward. No report cards, just the kind of learning that lives in fingertips. Uh, we just finished talking to the kids about how Bernoulli's principle and the principles of lift and laminar flow make a sailboat go. The kids might not be able to pronounce it, but soon enough, they're using it. Yeah, try it. There you go. You got it. Anyway. For some schools in New York and New Jersey, it's part of a STEM concept, teaching math and science through sailing. It's because this is the best way to see an equation. Right? You can see the way the equation changes when you manipulate real-world three-dimensional things. Until you th see it in three dimensions, it's very, very abstract. Which one do you see is fluttering? The inside. Right. How are you going to do that? There you go. Good. Sailing, it's kind of just gets you through problem solving. It's something that most people don't know how to do these days. They don't just learn direction, they learn responsibility. And the wind becomes their teacher. Ready to tack? Yeah. If you're catching the wind like that, it breaks the purpose, so we need to catch the wind in, not out. This is the perfect flag for these kids, because out here, learning is an adventure. No desks or clocks to stare at just a tiller in their hands and a horizon worth chasing. If the one thing they learn is sailing is fun, then maybe in two years when they're ready, they'll be like, huh, physics, right? Because sometimes you start out in search of the wind and find a direction. On the Hudson, Steve Overmeyer, CBS News, New York.